Here we'll find a weighted average using a student score in a class. So we have several assignments, three tests, homework, project, and final exam. And we're given the student score on each of these assignments, as well as a weight for each assignment or a number of points for them. Now notice that usually we'd be given either the weight or the points. In this case, we're given both. And if you look closely, there are a total of a thousand points that they could earn. If you add up all those points, you should get a thousand. And if you divide each of those point values by a thousand, you'll get the percentages that are listed here. So really, the same information is given in the weight column or in the points column. And you may see for some of your classes, the scores are given with weights. Sometimes they may be given with points. It's really the same thing. Uh, it's just written in a different way. So we're going to show the calculation with both just to compare, but we'll get the same answer either way. For part A then, let's use the weights. So for the weights, we can multiply each score the student got by the weight that's associated with it. And once we multiply those and add them all together, the answer we'll get at the end is the average score. So the weights are nice because they're already scaled for us, so that just by multiplying the score times the weight and adding those together, we'll get the final weighted average. So all I have to do is take 85% times 20% plus 92% times 20% plus 87% and so on. So if we multiply all those and add them all together, the answer we get at the end is about 0.899, which works out to 89.9%. So on a standard 10 point scale, this student will be very close to an A, just under 90%. Now let's do the same thing with a point system. And we're gonna get the same answer, of course, but this time we have to do two steps, where first we multiply their score. So for the first category, they got 85% times the number of points they got and then do that for all of them. And once we multiply and add all those up, we get 899 points. So they earned a total of 899 points, and then when you divide that out of the total of number of points they could have earned, which was 1,000, they get 0.899, which again works out to 89.9%. So notice you're doing the same work both ways. It's just that when you use the weights, you've already divided by 1,000 before you start. When you use the points, you have to divide by a thousand at the end to get the final score the same way you did with the weights. So either way you do it, you're using the same values, and this is how you do a weighted average, whether you're given the weights as percentages or as points out of a total that you could earn.